Hi, my name is Greg Chapkis. Um, I'm director uh, and founder of Chapkis Dance, as well as collaboration uh, competition. And um, yeah, I'm just a choreographer, dreamer, uh, performer, dancer, production manager, all the way around it. Hold up, tell them some down. Taking hell long, give it to me now. Make that thing pop like it's in me. I grew up uh, back in Ukraine, but I grew up in a family of dancers. Uh, my dad um, was one of the famous Ukrainian dancers. He's one of the founders of like Fold. If you see before somebody doing, you know, full <laughs> Russian dance and doing all those tricks. So he's one of the original dancers. And uh, my mom was a ballroom dancer. She was competitive ballroom dancer. There's a point that she was like one of the top ballroom dancers in Europe. My sister was ballerina. She was prima ballet in uh, Ukrainian theater for many, many years. All of them owned the studios all over the world. So I literally grew up backstage. I knew for sure I'm gonna be a dancer even when I was really a little boy and I said I didn't want it. I knew I'm gonna be a dancer. It just meant to be. My journey of dance was a really long story. Uh, it started back in Ukraine. I definitely was all, always into street dance, you know, popping, breaking, um, freestyle, pretty much everything, you know, locking to whacking to anything I get involved in street dance. Definitely freestyle was my passion. Uh, my family was keep throwing me into different styles because they want me to be this professional dancer. So they threw me, of course, they threw me into folk, you know, Ukrainian dancing. I did entertainment college for a couple of years and uh, learned how to do ballet and jazz. I did gymnastics for many years too, only because I want to be able to do those tricks, you know. I did ballroom dance because my, my dad and mom's um, background is ballroom dance. So I kind of, uh, I went through the stages doing different styles. But hip hop was always my passion and uh, freestyle. Then I, in 99, I moved to America. It was kind of hard the first year because I moved in a little town uh, called Wackerville. Nobody knew hip hop at that time and nobody wanted to do it because they just don't know what it is. They really thought that it's something really bad. Yeah, it, was, it took me a little while to convince people. You know, I started teaching at the gyms. Actually, my mom convinced me I didn't want to do it you know, because I didn't speak English at all. But I started teaching at the gyms and um, slowly but surely clientele started uh, building and I believe in 2004, I opened a studio in Vallejo called Dance Unlimited with my mother and run the studio for almost 10 years. So that's how pretty much Shapkis Dance started. Uh, three years ago, I decided to branch out and open, you know, change the name and open uh, my own studio, separate from my mother and I call it Shapkis Dance uh, due to a connection with my other family around the world. My sister owned a studio called Shapkis Dance in Italy, my dad have six in Ukraine. They all called Chapkis Dance. I was the only one Dance Unlimited, so they were really, really mad at me that I didn't want to change the name. You know, I was always the guy that's like, man, I don't want to put Chapkis Dance. Like, I want to have some kind of cool name. Like, there is a funkonometry and there is a culture shock. And, you know, why can't I call some kind of a jerky monkey or monster boogie? You know, like, I want to call some kind of cool name, you know? You know, my family convinced me and uh, my wife was behind me. And uh, when I mentioned to the teams, um, they were all behind me 100%. They were down to do a Chapkis dance so you know but we are really really close and they are grew up with me you know we always say that we're family so they were like well it makes a lot of sense since we're all a family we're related just call us Chapkis dance family we're all your family you know the, the leader so we kind of stick with it you know it's funny because a lot of people don't think that it's the name of the style or you know it's some kind of a movement which is great <laughs> it works it's definitely unique you know and i love that you know there's not going to be another chapter events out there and the hush hush keep it low key attitude and check cuz you were the OG got the thing going it's funny because sometimes I see that every month the whole style changes i don't know like i don't know if you notice that you know and there's somebody gets popular and then Everybody does that style. Like every, you can see the familiar moves, you know, like just the way the groove is, like everybody trying to do that particular, you know, like I remember, don't you remember when Sean and Pat and everybody was still here and the company was really popular. Like the whole Bay Area was doing that style. 
everybody was doing that style. You know, now it's like, you know, like I was just talking about Hollywood, for example, you know. So now everybody does that, you know, ratchet stuff for a second, you know, just because that's what's popular right now, you know. And it just keep evolving, evolving. It, just, it, it depends who's, uh, you know, who's popular on YouTube right now. I feel like YouTube is a little dense right now in some way. At the same time, I do, you know, it does evolve in a lot. You know, some of those new kids, I mean, they dance so fast, you know, like I even question my style. I was like, man, I, don't know, I think I'm dancing a little bit too slow nowadays. Like everybody just What I don't like is that they're losing the soul. They're losing the whole purpose of dance, you know? It's not about how fast you go and how intricate choreography, it's about dance. You know, it's like, I wanna feel something when I watch dance. I wanna like, I wanna get a goosebumps, you know? And we're losing that. It's so fast and you just like, yeah, you can read the choreography and there's good musicality and I get the musicality, but I don't feel anything. It's evolving and it's evolving fast and it changes fast and we just need to keep up with that, you know, just to understand it. But um, there is a good things about it, there is a bad things about it. It just moves so fast and, and it keeps changing and, uh, you know, we keep getting inspired and it's hard to keep up, which is a good thing, you know, it's progressing. Bad thing is that just everybody trying to do too much. They're trying to be like somebody else instead of being how they feel. Um, it's important to just stick to your roots and stick to how you feel the music and how you visualize the music, not how you look on YouTube and like, okay, this is what's popular, so I'm gonna do that because that's what's popular. That's what my dancer is gonna like. Sometimes I choreograph and I'm like questioning myself. I was like, they're gonna like that because everybody just, nobody does that no more, you know? I'm happy that I stick with what I do. I have amazing company that stick with me because of it. It's just uh, the only different, a uh, back 10, everybody wanna train the right way. They want to go and train from somebody that's been around. Like, I, I feel like when I started, I want to pay my dues as well. Like, I remember going to a New Style Mother Load, you know, Corey Action, and I want to take classes there and learn how he teach and how their company run. I remember going to Allen for years a couple times, and I just want to see, you know, what he teaches and how he does it and, you know, how his company run. You know, I was curious, you know, same with Kim, Politify Project and all those guys. Just going there and training with them. A fun chronometry, I was there, you know, almost every Sunday just to train. I was motivated to train from the right teachers that actually know what they're doing and they went through that process already. Nowadays, I feel like everybody want to be director. You know, they all want to be choreographer. Everybody's a choreographer now. Since YouTube started, I feel like, you know, you look on the, every Facebook, Facebook page and everybody's a choreographer and everybody has a group. So the quality uh, dropped a lot, you know, I would say. There's so many groups that just don't know what they're doing. Um, and I just wish that instead of focusing on getting their routines and formations and getting ready for a performance, they just take that time to go and train with somebody that actually can teach them something, you know. Um, and then you can do the groups and, you know, compete. I understand that. I understand that they want to create their own, you know, brand, but I feel like they need to pay their dues as well. They shouldn't go and, you know, learn from people that have been around and um, learn how they do their things and how they run the companies and uh, training. Like people forgetting about training nowadays. I feel like that's, they do additions and then they just focus on getting ready and building the routine right away. That's why everybody looks same, you know? The training is such an important deal. Yeah, I wish, I wish people want to learn more than create their own brand right away from the start. When I started, I'll say it was 2000s, 2001, 2002. Um, there was not that many groups here. Um, you know, there's a lot of inspiration, a lot of talent to dancers, but not the community was really, really small. I remember Mind of the Matter, I remember Mind Tricks, I remember Culture Shock, you know, Funkonometry started a little bit later. Boogie Monsters, yeah, of course, there's Sacramento Press Play, I uh, started a little bit later as well. I remember taking my, first time taking my group to, I believe it was Battlefest. And I was like, oh my God, we're gonna smash. We're gonna do so good right now. So we went and it was like literally uh, my dancers that I teach at the gyms, you know, gold gym and 24 hour, kind of like put them together really fast, made a piece in one week, uh, give them some camouflage pants. And I was like, we're gonna smash. And because we did pretty good in like traditional competitions, you know, I took them to a couple like, you know, traditional ones and we won and I was like, I have so much confidence. So we went to Battlefest and there was like six step, Puck Modern, Formality, uh, you know, the lineup was stacked, you know. So I remember watching it as like, like I didn't want to perform, I'll be honest with you. I was just so out of it. I was like, I just want to like 
run away right now, <laughs> you know. But um, he was really talented. There was a lot of talent here. You know, it kind of bothers me that so many talented people uh, keep moving to LA, you know, from the Bay. Um, I just wish that, you know, we can run the industry from here as, as well and there's some dishes that came here because uh, there's just so much talent. And as soon as somebody come up that I was really looking up to and I was like, oh my God, this person is just so talented and, you know, I need to work with him. Couple weeks, couple months, they'll be moving to LA as well, you know, so. That's why it's kind of like a community to just keep changing, keep changing. It's so many new groups, so many new faces, you know, I go to some of the events and I'm like, don't recognize anybody. Uh, there's some, of course, there's some old faces that I love and respect, you know, Alan for years, uh, Mama Kim, um, you know, my boys, Matthew, Kajon, Daniel, um, there's just so many people that still around, but I just wish that, I just wish some of them stay here, you know. <laughs> I'll say dance, like, really um, saved me in a lot of different ways. I, I grew up uh, by myself, you know, my mom moved to America um, when I was really young and um, she was already divorced with dad, so of course it was hard, you know, in the 90s in Ukraine, you know, there's a lot of crime and a lot going on. Um, I feel like dance keep me from it, you know? And I, I saw, you know, a lot of people doing stupid things and getting in trouble. And uh, I think it's the only reason is because they have no passion for anything else, you know? So dance keep me, um, you know, keep me away from trouble back in Ukraine. Um, and then when I moved here, you know, I started with like, my first job was washing cars, like car wash. Um, I literally learned Spanish before English. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But um, there's nothing else I could do because I didn't speak English at all. I knew three words, it was hi, bye, I love you. And um, what else I know? That's pretty much it. Like literally, I didn't know any English at all, and um, and my mom convinced me to do, go and teach at the gyms. It was the big, the probably the biggest decision. You know that I get back to my roots and I get back to doing what I love. And look at me now. Like I'm still dancing. You know, I'm still dancing. I still do what I love. I mean, it's literally was with me for all my life. I'll say, dance is everything to me, and I'm I'm glad. Like it was with me for the whole life. Like I'm so passionate about it. Even did a tattoo that says dance. <laughs> you know, because it is, it, it, did, it, did, it did save me, you know, for all the troubles and everything. You know, even when I'm like extremely stressed out, I always can come back to the studio and choreograph and, and, and uh, express that stress in my choreography. Yeah. You know, it's kind of release that negative energy, you know. And if I have, if I'm happy and I can make a happy dance, you know, and I express that I'm happy, you know, so it's like, yeah, dance is, dance is everything to me. I love to insp uh, inspire. I love where, you know, where other dancers, you know, take something from it and run with it. You know, just to, just to see new upcoming dancers and, you know, just the way they fit uh, the energy and what I'm saying, um, it reminds me like I was. You know, I was the same way. I was taking notes in my head every time I, I talk to somebody that, that went through um, the whole evolution of building their uh, career and I just, uh, I love teaching, the whole teaching process. I enjoy that the most. I love when uh, some of our dancers do amazing, you know, uh, moving to LA and, you know, that was my number one goal is to build a, tr you know, professional training center um, for dancers. So it's not just the dance team, it's actually a place where we train professionals. So that's my goal, you know, every time I, uh, one of my dancers do amazing uh, touring or you know, on the video or music awards show. Um, it, for me, it's like another trophy in some way. You know, I'm proud of it and I take it as a big win. I'll definitely feel um, discouraging. Well, it's hard with the company as well, you know, when you have dancers that, you know, quit or go to another team. Um, most of my dancers are grew up with me, you know, so it's a really, really tight loyal circle like our company it's definitely like a family so when i lose dancers or they leave uh, i know that they need to extend and you know and train with other people and i understand that it does discourage me a little bit and it hurts me another thing is i i always find everything motivating even if we lose competition like for me it's kind of like taking on the next gear it's kind of like oh i lose competition like 
oh, we're gonna have to step it up now. We're gonna have to go to lab and we need to stop performing. Like we need to like get, like, what do you mean I lose competition? Like, like I have to get going. Like we have to get back, you know, to hard work. So that doesn't discourage me at all, you know. Um, somebody talking about us or me or in general, oh no, that's definitely motivation for me always been is like there's so many people that in the past you know I actually stick in my head still a lot of people like you know look at my style and they're like no this is not hip-hop you know hip-hop is this and hip-hop it's breaking and hip-hop it's locking and it's whacking what you do it's probably pop it's not hip-hop you wrong we just won all three divisions in the HHI so this is probably a hip-hop you know <laughs> like I'm glad I proved them wrong finally, but um, you know there is no like I feel like there is no rules for it, you know. And I, for me, it's like you know I I feel like the only the only time that I get discouraged is when I lose dancers, you know, when I feel like they don't believe in me or they don't believe in my vision, you know, when I feel that energy from them, then it's like somebody is better. I'm just gonna go there because I'll get the better, you know. Like that's what it's kind of like. Oh man, like I feel like I'm giving a heart and soul to this, you know, and I hate when people don't believe in me. <laughs> so I think that's probably the only thing that I get discouraged by, but uh, anything else, it's a definitely motivation. I'm a really tough skin guy, so. Yeah, I was always into production, like I love, I know it's show business, but um, I was always into doing events, you know, like I would probably do um, events. If it's not dance events, I mean, I would probably run some, you know, clubs or parties or, um, like, I don't know why, even through high school, like, I was always the guy that threw the parties, you know, so, like, like organized the event was always my passion, you know, like, you know, like, co collaboration or under construction or Halloween or, you know, even gift to gig. Um, I just like putting events together and I do it well. Um, so I would say probably I would be um, still putting the events. It might be not dance events, it might be like car shows or, something else, you know, Bo boxing or, you know, I don't know, something. But like, it's definitely my second passion is to just put together events. Um, yeah, I love it. Uh, I would say to anybody out there, um, if they want to do what I do, um, then just do it. You know, you, you might, you learn on your mistakes. Uh, you may, you're going to make a lot of them, but you cannot be like, okay, this workshop didn't go good. I lost so much money. I'm done. Uh, take risk, you know, take risk is like probably the biggest thing. I remember me starting collaboration and so many people trying to talk to me out of it. It's like, you're gonna pay this much to the theater, you're gonna pay that much for the flyers, you, you're gonna spend so much money, like how you know. I was like, I don't know, you know, I just don't know. I'm just gonna cross my fingers that, you know, it's gonna sell out and people are gonna come and you know, and look at it now, it's like 10th year anniversary of collaboration. I mean, it's an amazing show and I'm really proud of it. Um, we're taking it on the road. We're about to be in Seattle and other states. Um, um, so I think the biggest thing I want to say is um, keep pushing, no matter what. No matter how much people are going to bring you down, people are going to talk behind you. The more successful you're going to get, people are going to talk behind you. Use that as a motivation. Just keep pushing for your dreams, do what you love, do it the way you think it's right, not somebody else. Your opinion matters the most.